I've made my choice, Addy. I'm calling her the Jackdaw. A sly bird I loved as a child back in Swansea. A dark little creature, no? Did it rub you wrong when I took this brig as mine own? <laughs> it was the sort of rub I have learned to endure, sailing among faces of such fairness. It's true. Most of these men wouldn't accept you as a captain. So what fair role would complement such unfairness? I'll be your quartermaster. Nothing less. All right. And as quartermaster, have you any immediate counsel for this Tyro captain? Rest and repast would do us good before Nassau. Water for drinking. Hunting for food and repairs. Well reasoned, sir. Hunting, it shall be. We'll find a decent place to drop anchor. Despite a few items in the hold earlier. Powder and a few pistols. I think I'll fashion a second holster if I can. <laughs> it's a good start. One you find laughable. Could we talk a moment about the condition of the ship? What's the trouble? I had a walk about the gun deck this morning and couldn't stand for what I saw. A clutter of linstocks heaped like tinder and one with a slow match still burning. Christ. And just nearby, two barrels of gunpowder closer than man and wife. Fit to explode at the touch of a spark. We'll stow ours good and proper. As for the cannons, they might as well be tossed. Clogs touch holes in need of scraping, corrosion on the bodies, barrel swabs as naked as knives, and breech ropes so rotted, I could use them for knitting yarn. The short of it is, we need good equipment kept in fine condition. But we cannot win every battle with snares and shouts. So worry about your own armaments when it suits you. But don't forget about your jackdaw as well. No, indeed. We'll make it a point to keep this ship and its crew in fine condition.
Ahoy, Captain. Find what you need. My needs and wants are oceans apart, mate. But I did fashion myself a new holster. All I need now is a pistol to lie in it. Yeah. Taken from the holes, just as you said. A little more than a blowpipe. But it'll do. So, are we rested? Or should we idle a while longer? Best way, Anchor. I think the crew is itching to reach civilization. You'll find no civilization in Nassau. But it's a fine place to be merry all the same. Captain Queer Nabs, tell me I'm under arrest. Tell me! Damn your breads. Fly away, boy, oh, back to your master. Aye, we was privateers together before the wars ended. I'll see you ashore. God, you're a sight for salty eyes. Come you in and have a drink. Morning, all. Why can't we? Who's this? Adewale, the Jackdaw's quartermaster. Jackdaw. <laughs> you named your brig after a poxy bird. Adi, these lads are the better part of our growing confederacy here. Ed Thatch, Ben Hornigold, James Kidd. You let him carry a pistol, do you? Peace, Ben. Ade saved my life. And now we're looking to find a crew to fill out the rest of my ship. Well, there's scores of capable men abound. We use caution. A shipload of the King's sailors showed up before night back, causing trouble and knocking about like they own the place. All right. I'll see who I can muster. Send any men you find to the jackal. Cheers, Adi.
were spotted boarding last Wednesday's packet ship. Only my gold dead gold. Done with you, Gatso. Grazie. My thanks. I'm your man now, Capitano. With long Ben himself, I heard tell. You are mad. I will scrape you off my boots. Oh. Oh. Grazie. My thanks. I'm your man now, Capitano. Now you'll want to sail somewhere rich with plunder. Have you heard of a place called the Observatory? Aye. It's an old legend, like El Dorado or the Fountain of Youth. What have you heard? It's meant to be a temple or a tomb, hiding a treasure of some kind. That's it. See here. Oh, oh rot. It's fairy stories you prefer a gold, is it? It's worth more than gold, Thatch. Ten thousand times above what we could pull off any Spanish ship. Robbing the king to pay his porpoise is how we earn our keep here, lad. It ain't a fortune. It's a fantasy.
in, can we? Not a bad-looking tinderbox you got there. You sound a bit green, horny gold. Is it envy? Because mine's bigger than yours. No, I reckon it's this Jamaican funk. I prefer the Spanish stuff. So, you've got yourself a fancy brig now. Fine. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to say the right. And how to take a prize the proper way. Thatch, we'll catch you up at the old fishing village. Aye. Where's your helmsman, Kenway? I take pride in piloting my own ships, Ben. Keeps me alert. Let's make some headway, shall we? I've no need for schooling. How many prizes did we take together as privateers? <laughs> There's a chasm of difference between joining a raid and captaining one. We're looking out for merchants, boys! Them that's fat with cargo! There's a prize worth taking. Good! Take us in close. After you subdue a prize, project authority. Demand respect that you would never give yourself. This weaves a spell for soft minds. For your victims must always have in the back of their minds the uneasy idea that you could snap at any moment and unseam them from prick to stern. Come off the wind, my boy! And land a few strikes if you must, but for God's sake, don't sink her. It's no fun fishing cargo out of the sea. Although it can be done. Enemy making for us! Fire! Fire! She's disabled now and taking on a decent amount of water. So keep your cannons quiet. Take care not to sink her. Tango un buen dia, senor. I am Captain Hornigold, and this is my crew. We're sailors like yourselves, but quite unalike in our purpose. For we intend to take all that you owe. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? No me mate, senor. Tengo familia. Se lo suplico. Anyone speak English? English! Little bit. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods. And we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandbar. You got that? <laughs> Please do repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lock them in the hold and take everything that isn't nailed down. It's a shaky feeling sailing about with this much stolen cargo. Get used to it. We'll need to take a few more prizes to make this a profitable day. Ship Rambo's right! Come all you young sailormen, listen to me. I'll sing you a song of the fish in the sea. And it's windy weather, boys, stormy weather, boys, when the wind blows. 
today, can we? Half a dozen scores of that size and you'll be set for a year. Now let's sell this cargo and fix up your jack door with a few more trinkets. Sod it, you. I'm looking for a price that will set me up for life. I'll be king of the West Indies then. We came to Nassau to get away from the likes of kings. Well, I'll be a man of property and promise anyway. Jesus, let that dream go, lad. Nassau is the place to be. Not England. Do you ever dream of the big score? A ship so full of gold and silver, you just split it and sail home. Sure, but it's only a dream. Every man hopes to find a dozen chests of gold with no owners. They're as rare as an honest king. Oh, do me Johnny Bogan, the packet is a rolling. Do me Johnny Bogan, do. Oh, do me Johnny Bogan, we're pulling all together. Hey, boys. Oh, don't you see the old it man It's time to go now. Hey, we'll heave him up and away we'll go. Hey. Wavy Susie, yeah. We'll heave him up and away we'll go. We're all bound over the mountain. We'll heave him up from down below. Way me Susie and I, for that is where the cocks do crow. We're all bound over the mountain, and if we drown while we are young, way me Susie and I, it's better to drown than to wait to be hung. We're all bound over the mountain, oh, hey. crow ye may, but go ye must. Way me Susie and I, if you oh, drown. I'm going to hit all the stunts. And go below to your old As much as you can. Go to the world. Go to the world. Go to the world. Go to ¿Puedo ayudarlo en algo? 